Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is October 1st and it is hot for a fall day. We're pushing almost 94 degrees today. Anyways, addressing a minor issue that I experienced with my truck on my initial recovery. I, uh, I didn't realize this until probably 30, 40 miles down the road. This left front hub on the truck was running warmer than the others by almost 40 degrees. Long story short, I topped it off, rolled on, and then the next morning I started doing some maintenance, changing the oil and checking hubs and everything else with a 2,000 mile plus trip ahead of me. And uh, I found out that this hub was full of chocolate milk. Somebody had drowned the truck and I guess never serviced this hub afterwards or even checked it. You never know with these things. It's always kind of a crapshoot. Anyways, check your fluid, top off, change it, whatever you wanna do. You pull your truck forward or backwards until you have one of your outer plugs set in dead level or pretty close to, and the other outer plug is sitting down below, straight down. You do not want to get one of the plugs up top and use that and start filling it up. You get this hub over full, you're gonna blow your seals, you're gonna overheat it, it won't dissipate heat like it should. It's just a bad situation overall. So, pretty straightforward stuff. Drain your fluid out. If it's dirty, drain it, flush it several times. You're not gonna hurt anything. It's just a couple extra dollars. Take standard GL5 ADW90 gear oil. Like I said, nothing special here. Eventually the truck will get synthetic, but there's no sense in wasting money when I'm just simply flushing my hubs out. I like to take these cheesy little Walmart, uh, AutoZone, Advance, O'Reilly, or you can get a pump from Harbor Freight, if I'm not mistaken. Just a cheap little pump, drop it down in the gear oil, take your filler hose, stick it up in there. And uh, I don't remember the specs right now off the top of my head, but you want to fill it up until it just barely runs out of that plug with the plug dead level from left to right. Once you get it full, put the plug back in it, and that's it. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. 